Hello there, welcome to the AS Further Maths June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question one. Show that the matrix M is non singular. So for it to be non singular, uh, for singular it will be a determinant of zero, non singular will mean the determinant is not zero. So all I need to do for this uh, question here is work out what the determinant is. The determinant of M is going to be minus 28, you multiply these two terms first and then subtract these two terms. So it's subtract uh, minus 10, you multiply the terms, uh, so that's going to be minus 18. So therefore, non-singular. Because singular would mean that that determinant equals 0. Let's move on to part B and C. The transformation T of the plane is represented by matrix M. The triangle R is transformed to triangle S by the transformation T. Given that the triangle, uh, even though the area of S is 63 units, calculates the area of R. So this is the bit of knowledge where if you take a where the determinant, the determinant of the matrix is equal to the area scale factor following a transformation. And if the area scale factor was, well, it's the modulus of the area scale factor. So um, it's going to be a scale factor of minus 18 modulus. That just means make it positive. So it's going to be 18. So therefore, uh, we're now going to do for area R, it's going to be 63 divided by 18, uh, which is 63 divided by 18 is 3.5. So the area of triangle R is 3.5 units squared. And moving on to part C, show that the line Y equals 2X is invariant under the transformation. Now, if a line is invariant, then the line will transform to itself. That doesn't necessarily mean that each coordinate on the line will transform to itself, but if it's on the line, it will transform to another point on the line, and the line will therefore remain um, itself. So it's going to mean that min 4 minus 5, 2 minus 7 um, will multiply by x, 2x, because y is equal to 2x. That's what I've done here. I've transformed the coordinate x, y, but y is equal to 2x, so it's going to be x, 2x, onto another point on the line. That's going to equal some scale factor times x, 2x. So it's still going to end up on the same line, but um, there's going to be some multiple from the from the initial point to the final point. But it should still be on the same line, x, 2x. So let's expand the brackets on the top. 4x minus 10x equals lambda x. So that will mean that lambda is equal to minus 6. Let's just check that that's the case on the... Um, bottom one as well, so it's going to be 4x minus 14x equals, sorry, no, not, not 4x, 2x, uh, 2 times x minus 14x equals 2x, so therefore lambda will equal minus 6 again. So therefore, when lambda equals minus 6, the line y equals 2x is invariant for m. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for this question here then. So we've shown that the line is invariant under the transformation t. And there we are. That's the answer for question one there. That's worth six marks in total. Let's move on to question two.